I don't lie. I mean, I don't lie. In fact, if anything, uh, you know, I'm so truthful that it gets me in trouble. Donald Trump hates lying, but let's see how good he is at the truth. And what we're about to do is something that Donald Trump agrees with. He hates when people lie. Matter you of principle, are the and, I'll, and I'll tell biggest you. Liar. So let's see if he meets his own standards. According to an investigation by Politico in March, who submitted their fact checkers to hours of Donald Trump speeches, he lied on average every five minutes. Of course, some of these lies are almost funny. Everybody loves me. I get along with everybody. Oh, do you? Thing about I've you, seen that, you. That, that makes I, anyone seen, nervous. You're you know, losing people so are badly. actually watching wanna, this. Uh, you don't know what's happening. President Obama. He is the founder of ISIS. He's the founder of ISIS. But most of the time, Donald Trump's lies have dangerous implications. Like how he's claimed multiple times that torture works. Don't you know, have these guys... Torture doesn't work. Believe me, it works, okay? When evidence points to the contrary, like a U.S. Senate investigation that declared the practice to be completely useless, or when he says that we should take out the families of terrorists and then later denied saying that we should kill them. When you get these terrorists, you have to take out their families. You would still want to go after the families no, of no, terrorists. No, I didn't reverse anything. Or how Donald Trump says that he never mocked a disabled person. That reporter that you didn't like what they wrote, they said you mocked his disability. Yeah, I didn't. When he did. Uh, I don't know what I said. Uh. On national television. I don't remember. I, oh, maybe that's what I said. Or when he says, Well, I certainly don't incite violence. Knock the crap out of him, would you? I'd like to punch him in the face, I'll tell you. Get him out. Try not to hurt him. If you do, I'll defend you in court. Don't worry about it. Trump even went to drought-stricken California and proclaimed, there is no drought. They have farms up here, and they don't get water. I said, oh, that's too bad. Is it a drought? No, we have plenty of water. I said, what's wrong? Well, we shove it out to sea. Donald Trump lies about his business acumen, which is a cornerstone of his appeal with many voters. He lies about how much he's worth. He says, I've, I've never, never gone, gone bankrupt. bankrupt, when his companies have more than four times. Some lies, though, are a threat to national security. For instance, he's lied about his relationship with Vladimir Putin. I never met Putin. I don't know who Putin is. Do you have a relationship with Vladimir Putin. I do have a relationship. So how can any voter know where he truly stands when he lies about all of his stances? Just look at his back and forth on government-supported health care, on abortion, on the Iraq war. In the past, political leaders have been dismissed for doing things like sounding a little weird at a campaign rally. <laughs> or forgetting the third thing that they were going to say. And the, uh, uh, what's the third one there? Let's see. <laughs> Or being really thirsty. And false choices like the one the president laid out tonight. But somehow, Donald Trump's sins have managed to escape the same level of public ridicule. The biggest irony is that Donald Trump is obsessed with the lies of other people. Throughout his campaign, he's repeatedly called his opponents liars. Hillary Clinton, she's a world-class liar. Lion Ted. Breathe. And he has a similar obsession with the media's dishonesty, banning certain media outlets from his events or press conferences, and having an almost paranoid-like attitude towards reporters and their dishonest intentions. I think the media is among the most dishonest groups of people I've ever met. So, in other words, Donald Trump cares about the truth. He knows that you care about the truth. He just doesn't think that it applies to him. So we need to ask ourselves, if Donald Trump doesn't accept lying, why do we?